Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's Bernard here. How are you this morning? Good, awake, alive, breathing. Is that right? Everyone nod your heads. Terrific. Good. Well, boys and girls, uh, we're going to talk. Can I go to that next slide, please, uh, up the back? Uh, We're going to talk about two words today, because as you hear from the passage, uh, there are a lot of really strange things in today's passage from Matthew's biography of Jesus. And I thought the easiest would be to talk about these two words up here. Can you see these two words on the screen? Nod your head if you can see them. Sammy's nodding his head. Good on you. Can anyone read those two words for me? All right, I'm going to ask Master Connerty over here. Can you read the first word? Just the first word. Loud voice so all the adults can hear. Beautiful. Well done. And Master Rowe, can you read the second word? Uh, Loud voice. Faith. Faith. Thank you. So trust and faith. So I thought I'd have a really simple kids talk today trying to explain those two words. Do you reckon that'll be easy or not? No, it's not easy. Let me tell you, if I had hair, I'd pull it out. But I want to do it using an illustration. And this is my illustration. Now, this isn't a perfect picture of faith or trust, but it's going to get our brains ticking. Uh, hands up if you know what this is. No, 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 we'll ask that for a moment. Hands up if you know what it is. All right, hands down. Hands up if you can say in a really loud voice so all the adults can know what it is. Uh, all right, after three. One, two, three. Chair! Yeah! Beautiful. It's a chair. It's a chair. Uh, how many legs does this chair have? Hands up over here. How many legs? Four. Four. So it's a good chair. Okay. Uh, how many bases does this chair have? Sage? One. How many backs does this chair have? One. One. Thank you, Master Connery. Well, so it's got four legs, it's got a back and a back. Uh, tough question. Do you think this chair can hold Mr. Gabbard? Yeah. Hands up if you think this chair can hold Mr. Gabbard. All right. Hands down. Hands up if you think this chair can't hold Mr. Gabbard. Yeah, it's my children. All right. <laughs> so I believe something about this chair, don't I? It's got four legs. It's got a solid base. It's got a very good back. I believe that about the chair. How am I going to trust the chair? What was that, Sage? Sit on it. Sit on it. All right. Let's see if this chair is trustworthy and Mr. Gabbard's diet is okay. Okay. You've got to count down. You've got to count to three and I'll sit on it. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. All right. Do it again. Come on. Let's try it again. I'm a bit nervous about this. Let's go. Ah, what a lovely chair. <laughs> Mr Bailey's giving me a clap. Now, that's not a perfect illustration of faith, but do you know I believed something about the chair. What did I believe about the chair? Master Connery, what did I believe about the chair? I did, and I believed that the chair could actually hold me up. Is that right? And I showed my trust in the chair by sitting on it, didn't I? And did the chair stay up? Did the chair fail me? No, hallelujah, because that would be really embarrassing online because everything online is there permanently. <laughs> That's just like Jesus. We've learned some things about Jesus, haven't we? and we believe them. Uh, t- yell out a yes if you believe this. Jesus is God's son. Yeah. Jesus heals blind people. Yeah. Jesus heals deaf people. Yeah. Jesus calms storms. Jesus cares for the broken people. Yes. All those things are right. And they're trustworthy and they're true. And that means Jesus is the boss and the saviour of the world. And I need to trust him. I need to live like it. I believe it and then I live like it. Now, it's not a perfect picture of faith, but it helps us think about it. So every time you sit on a chair, I want you to think about one bloke. Which bloke might you be thinking about? Sage? Jesus! Every time you sit on a chair, think about Jesus and think about how he is trustworthy as the boss and saviour of the world. Let me pray and then we're going to get our kids' shoes. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he's everything that you promised. Thank you that he cares about little kids and older people. Thank you that he cares about brothers and sisters and parents. Thank you that he cares about friends and strangers. Thank you that he's come to fix up this broken world. Thank you that we can trust him. Please help us to trust Jesus. Amen.